Hello, welcome back. This week I got to do some cooking, well, baking technically, I guess, and I did start the quilt, so uh, I get a gold star for the week. I worked on the quilt and got um, several strips of fabric cut out. Um, unfortunately, even though I feel like I've cut a ton of strips, this is just a small portion of them, I'm nowhere near, I'm not even a quarter of the way done with the strips that I have to cut. So I've got lots more to do, which the good thing is they're all, about, most of them are the same width, so that makes it easy as far as my brain goes. I don't have to go back and forth between a three and a quarter inch, a two and a quarter inch, or just, I can always I can just cut the same thing over and over and over until they're all done. Um, so next step is sewing these strips together. Each one of these will get sewn together with a strip of the white fabric. And then um, once they're sewn together, you cut them at 90 degree angles, which will then give you a square that cut diagonally corner to corner will have a triangle of the white fabric and a triangle of the colored fabric. And then once those squares are pieced together, that gives you your triangle design um, to make the quilt. So once I once I get to that step where I can start piecing the squares together, I'll get to be able to see the actual pattern of the quilt start to um, start to come together, which will be exciting. It'll be nice to see um, that progress. And then baking, I made one of my current favorite recipes. Um, I started making it a couple weeks ago, and it, it's fairly easy. It takes a little bit of time, but it's also freezer friendly. So it, in my opinion, it's worth the extra time because it tastes really good. I'll post the recipe down below, but they're uh, kind of ham and cheese rolls. I got the idea from a local bistro that um, has just, they're, they're so tasty. They're so amazing. Um, they call, they call them bagel rolls and they're filled with ham and gouda cheese and eating one toasted is, they're just, they are, really good. So I was trying to copy that. I found a couple different recipes on Pinterest, nothing exactly like what they, what the bistro made, but um, things close enough that I could um, kind of interchange the cheese and the meat to get the filling that I wanted, but um, I was able to find a method for cooking them to make them taste like that. Um, and so I'm really impressed with them. They're really good. But uh, it's really pretty simple. You just need to have some time. And if your kids are old enough, they could easily help stuff them. Um, my girls are a little bit on the young side. We made pizza last night and uh, their pizzas had very few toppings on them. Um, most of the toppings went in their mouths and by the time the pizzas were done cooking, they were so full they didn't really eat much of the cooked pizza. <laughs> but they had lots of pepperoni and cheese. Um, so uh, the putting it together, once you have your dough made, you just, you, know, you have to wait for it to rise. So that takes an hour, two hours, what, whatever your recipe calls for. Um, you can use different, I've used pizza dough for it. I've also used a non bread recipe, which I prefer that. Um, it makes, I just like the, t the flavor of that bread a little bit better than the pizza. Um, and so you just roll out into circles, fill them up with the cheese and meat stuffing and then pinch all the bottoms in so you don't have any openings. And you, you do want to kind of leave a little bit of room in there so when it all melts, it doesn't just burst out the sides. I found that the hard way multiple times when I forget and try to squeeze it all in there and then after you bake it, it's this lake of melted cheese, which tastes really good still. Um, and then once you have all the rolls made, you put them in boiling water for about a minute which gives them kind of the bagel taste and makes them really uh, just chewy and moist um, and really good. And then you put them in the oven and everything gets baked and then um, they come out and you want to wait a little bit for them to cool because the insides are really, really hot and a little bit steamy, but they are so good. And as I said, they're freezer friendly, so I've been waiting for them to cool and then I put them in the freezer and right now I think I have about three batches in the freezer. And so whenever we have a dinner time or a lunch time where I'm just not feeling like coming up with an actual meal or um, I want something just a little bit healthier than mac and cheese or chicken nuggets, then I can pull these out, zap them in the microwave for a couple minutes, um, and they taste just about 
as good when they come out of the microwave as they do when they're fresh out of the oven. So it's definitely great. And I'm not gonna say that they're healthy because it's more like a comfort food. It's fresh bread and ham and cheese, which um, is pretty darn good. And you can play around with the fillings too. You could add vegetables to put in the mix. You could do different meats. You could do grilled chicken would probably be really tasty in it. Um, you can do different types of cheeses. I have certain cheeses that I listed in the recipe and that's just the ones that I used. You could do whatever collection of flavors you want um, so long as they melt well. And so if you have a combination of cheeses that you like in a mac and cheese, use those. Um, actually, stuffing them with mac and cheese would probably be good too. Um, all sorts of ways to combine favorite comfort foods. I am definitely more of a comfort food cook and baker than I am a healthy one. <laughs> um, but that's that was my creative venture for the week was stuffing our freezer full of yummy food for um, the future. And now the hard part is making it last more than a week or two because my temptation is every meal go, ooh, I'm going to heat one of those rolls up um, rather than have them actually be what they're meant to be, which is kind of the last minute, oh, I forgot to make dinner, or I forgot to defrost that meat to make dinner with it. So we're gonna have these instead. Um, so there we go. My next plans coming up, um, since summer is coming, and um, at least I I keep hearing it is, I'm, I'm sure it'll come someday, but we've actually been having some warmer weather here, uh, which is kind of crazy. It's been warm enough to be outside without a heavy jacket, so. That's nice, but I'm getting ready to start some swimsuits for the girls, and uh, that'll be fun. I made my first swimsuits last year and was so surprised at how easy it was. I was expecting it to just be really difficult for the fabric to be really unmanageable, but they came together really simply and really quickly. So I have high hopes for this year, um, and hopefully I will be uh, sharing some finished suits with you in the next couple weeks. But let me know what you are up to. Um, yeah, it's I'm excited for the garden this year too. I was I just did some cleaning up outside today because the weather was nice, and now I have to force myself to not do anything too soon because um, we have a really late average last frost here. So it always feels like oh it's getting warm. I can start planting things and preparing things for growth and then it freezes in June, but <laughs> which um, isn't very good for new plants. I've learned that a couple of different years. Mm. So that's the plan. Um, let me know what you're up to and I will talk to you next week. Mm.